Hello everyone, it's Alana. Thanks for coming to hang out with me and if you are new here, welcome, welcome. Today I am going to be planning in my plum paper planner for the week of September 6th to the 12th. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys, so today I am planning in my plum paper planner for the upcoming week and I am actually excited about this. Um, you may know that planning in my plum paper planner got off to a rocky start. It did not go so well. Lots of sticker issues, lots of ripping washi tape, lots of bleed through, but I think I'm finally getting the hang of it thanks to a lot of tips and tricks and ideas from so many of you guys, which I sincerely appreciate. I did not want to give up on this planner. Um, first of all, it's a, it's a pretty hefty investment. These are not cheap planners and then also I customized it specific to what I needed this layout was entirely of my design for my specific needs and I didn't want to quit on that so I think I'm finally getting the hang of it the last couple of weeks have gone pretty good no sticker or washi tape issues a little bit of like raised portions of paper from the pen, but that's just because I kind of push pretty hard when I am printing, but no bleed through and my highlighters have been doing well. So now I'm excited because I'm excited because I think I finally have it figured out. And I'm also excited because it is time to start putting fall stickers in all of my planners. You guys, I am just, I'm so stoked about that. So I grabbed some washi tape in the colors that I want to use. I'm not sure if I want to use all three of these, but definitely at least one of them. And I grabbed some Paper Minty Studio stickers that I love. These say summer arrangements, summer florals, but I mean clearly they match perfectly with this pumpkin spice sticker sheet. Very excited to use those. And then of course, some seasonal Wrong Wrong Girls. I've been hanging on to them for quite some time now and I am very excited to be putting them in my planner. They're so cute. I absolutely love the seasonal wrong wrong girls but the fall and Halloween ones are my favorite. So let's see. I think maybe I'll get started by putting some washi tape down. Also you guys I apologize if I sound a little froggy today. My allergies are going crazy this week. I have no idea what's in the air but my allergies are not pleasant this week and I try to not be constantly taking Benadryl and Claritin all the time but I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to give in okay so I'm putting this washi strip right here I think I want a couple pieces maybe along the bottom of these boxes and then I'm gonna layer it with either another color of washi or just some stickers so let me know are you guys putting fall stuff in your planners already I'm so excited but you know what <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> like I said froggy I'm actually surprised that the stores around here are not putting out fall stuff as soon as they usually do I mean of course stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby they're full of fall by oh gosh like the day after 4th of July I mean once the once the 4th of July stuff and the barbecue celebration stuff gets put away then it's immediately Halloween in those stores but I went to Target this morning and nothing they still have all of the back to school supplies the dollar spot section they had just a handful of fall things in the dollar spot section. The rest was still the summer, like outdoor toys, sandbox toys for kids, um, bright neon dinosaur flower pots. I was like, what the heck, you guys? No, 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 no. We need, we need fall and Halloween already. Come on now. It was crazy. And then um, I went grocery shopping. I grocery shop at Fred Meyers. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Fred Meyers. It's also Kroger in some states as well. And Ralph's, I think. Um, they, they're they kind of like a grocery store slash department store. And they normally have fall and Halloween stuff out around this time as well. And nothing. Still back to school stuff. I'm sure some people are totally fine with that. Some people are not ready to let go of summer. But... I was pretty bummed. I was on the lookout for some dollar spot finds and I got 
nothing. Well, that's not true. I got one mustard yellow throw pillow and um, kitchen towels. The fall super cute little like grateful, thankful, blessed. But that's it. Everything else was still summer. Such a bummer. Um, do I like this? I don't know. It completely changes the color of it once it's on top of the black. I think I do want to leave it though. And I think I'm going to put some stickers over this one instead of another strip of this. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's also just our area as well. Maybe if you guys have been on the hunt and didn't find anything, let me know. But I have seen so many people, so many like planner friends posting on Instagram, all of their adorable dollar spot finds and things like that. And just no such luck for me. So bummed, but I'm sure it'll be there before too long. All right. That's cute. I really like that. Now let's see, where can I fit a wrong, wrong girl? Maybe down here on Sunday, since I don't really fill in that much for Sundays. And then uh, yeah, I'll start with trying one for Sunday. Actually, I just remembered that Monday is a holiday and I don't need to put anything in for Monday. So I'm going to put them over here. I'm going to, I guess, cover up my little thing that says memorable. Should I white it out? That might make it look worse though, huh? Since this is gray. Maybe I'll just put them over the top. Um, hmm. Nope, I'm going to have to do it like this. I want to dress like a wrong, wrong girl, you guys. Look how adorable and all like super fall coordinated they are. And <laughs> they're just so, although I don't know about those shorts for fall. Maybe it's warm where she lives. <laughs> it's not warm enough for those shorts around here in the fall. Cute, super cute. I love those girls. Maybe I'll put a pumpkin beside them. I'm going to go with this one. I love the little spindly stem on this one. Super cute. Ah, uh, yeah, I really like that. Really like that. Okay, so I'm going to cover up a couple of these wellness lines with some of the Wrong Wrong Girl boxes. I'll essentially use it for the same thing, but just to add a little bit more detail and layers. I'm going to put these on there instead. I love these colors. So a little pumpkin spice latte and then just this plain pink one right here. Super cute. All right, I'm going to put this get it done. Let's see. Right here. Just like that. And then this early sunsets and comfy sweaters sticker in the Sunday box. I love this one. I'm going to put this little stem with it. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see. Maybe one of these orange leaves too. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. What else? I feel like this little pink box needs something now because that one has something in it. The only other one that I have that has a little decorative bit in it in these size boxes is one with a jack-o'-lantern. And I didn't really want to put Halloween on this spread. So maybe, let's see. Are these? No, those aren't stickers. Shoot. Hmm guess maybe I'll put one of these little guys on there. Oh, but it's, hmm, it's right beside that one and I didn't want that. Okay, well, I'll just make one of these into a sticker. Since it's all sticker backing, I can just pull this out and trim around that flower. Problem solved. <laughs> There we go. That's really cute. I like that. I didn't cut it perfectly, but it's okay. All right. I'm going to put this little like star guy right here beside the pumpkin. And I think I'm going to put one of these, let's see, these little green bits up at the top with my cleaning schedule, just like this. All right. And this little stem and pumpkin. 
right here and I want something for right here as well. I'm loving this so far though, you guys. Let's do this floral up here like this and this super cute little latte. I think I want another like star sticker like this one with the little latte. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think this is getting pretty close to finished. I bumped my camera, sorry. Um, I'm going to put a to buy up here because I need a to buy sticker, but also it matches this color right over here. And I don't, I don't think it needs much else. I don't see really, I guess maybe I could put something here since there's a lot more happening over on this side. Um, but I don't think it needs a whole lot more. I really love it just like this. Okay, how does this look? Just a little smidge of what? Oh gosh, you guys, it's plum paper. So it's there now, isn't it? <laughs> Whether it looks cute or not, it lives there now. Oh gosh. Can you imagine if like our homes were like plum paper, paper and wherever we accidentally put an item or furniture or something, it was just there. Like your couch is here forever now. Sorry, can't move it. <laughs> Uh, I'm learning to love it, you guys. I am, There are so many reasons to be happy with a plum paper. And once you figure out the fussiness, um, it really is a great planner. But yeah, see, it's tearing the paper a little bit. Not so bad, but I'm going to adjust it. And then just, um, maybe I'll put some, oh, and I put the cinnamon stick right here. I think that's cute like that. I'm going to put just a wee smidge just a wee smidge. That sounds like something Shrek would say. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh gosh, now I can't even get it. Hang on. All right, let's see. I think this will look okay. Um, no, it doesn't really, does it? This needs to be <laughs> trimmed just a little bit more. I didn't want it touching the flowers. Oh gosh. Here, I think I can fix it like this. That's not perfect, but it's okay. I think I'm going to leave it here before I start making tear-up decisions and then I ruin my spread, which I have done in the past. <laughs> but I like it like this. I think it's really cute. I think it'll be even more cute and fun all filled in. I might add some stickers as I go along as well, just here and there, but I really love it. I love those Wrong Wrong Girls so much. And the pumpkins, Paper, Minters, Paper Minty Studio, you guys, if you have not checked out her stickers on Etsy, you really need to. They're incredible. I love them so much. Not sponsored. She's not paying me to say that. I just love her stickers so, so much. They are gorgeous. She keeps coming out with the cutest ones for fall and Halloween. She makes her own washi tape too, and it's just incredible. It's like fall dreams come true for sure. All right, so yeah, I am going to leave it here, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for this plan with me. If you are doing any fall or autumn or any kind of, you know, seasonal vibe planner spreads or goal pages, whatever it is you're working on, if you are over on Instagram, tag me at Alana. I would love to see it and give it some love. I totally mean that, you guys. So many of you have tagged me already to check out your fall stuff, and I absolutely love it. Instagram can get kind of overwhelming and crazy with that algorithm and I sometimes miss a lot of things but if you tag me I love to see it and comment and definitely give it some love. As for me you can expect to see nothing but fall <laughs> from here on out and then Halloween of course I'm so excited. All right you guys that's it for this one I will see you in my next one. Tell your dog I said hi. Bye guys.